What's up guys, it's Geeks Gonna here, and today I'm going to show you how you can change your app drawer on your Samsung from this swipe sideways to access to this, which is swiping up and down, which is more like the Android experience on the Pixels. So all you need to do first of all is you need to go over and you need to install an app called Goodlock, which I've got here. And as you can see, there's an app at the top there called Home Up and you click on what will be a blue arrow at the time. I've already got it installed, so it's the Galaxy Store app, and this is the Home app. And then you click Install for this one, and as you can see, it's already installed. And then once it's installed, you can actually go in here and toggle it on, and then you can go and change the settings. So you click on Home screen, and you can change the grid layout as I've already done. Choose App List and toggle that on, and then this gives you the scrolling function. Now, there are a lot of other options in here as well. You can change the column to a six column layout where I had five and then you can swipe up there. And as you can see now, you got the six column layout. Uh, I'm actually going to go back and I prefer five just the way I like it, but it's all it depends on how you want it. So I'll just change that back to five. And there you go. That's how you've got the scrolling effect on there. Now, like I say, this is more on the pixel experience. Uh, and I actually prefer that as well. There are a ton of other features in the Home Up application on here, and I'll just quickly show you what's in here. Uh, as I said, you can loop pages, you've got an app list to find the access, you can do a background blur as well. You've got then the options then for the task manager, you can change that, how that layout as well. And then you've also got a folder option as well, and in there you can change out how you have a pop-up folder and obviously you've got the share manager there as well so you can share those out and obviously you can back up and restore your settings as well if that's how you'd like to do it so that's how you do it guys i hope you found that useful thanks for watching and i'll catch you on the next one